Chris from MyMMANews.com with my man Buddy Tally here at 302 BJJ in Wilmington, Delaware. He is set to make his amateur debut at Maverick 16. He's taken on Talha Khan, who is 1-0, and and my man uh, Buddy Tally is making, re- making his debut. First and foremost, got to thank my man. Buddy, how's it going, brother? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, man. So uh, I've talked to a lot of your teammates here at 302 before, and... Uh, Got to say, a room full of tough guys, so I can't imagine anything less coming from you. So I got to ask first and foremost, how do you feel about your debut? Oh, I feel great. Um, I've been in here training hard. <coughs> um, I mean, I got the best people around, you know, the best training partners. Uh, nobody's giving me hard rounds. My coach, you know, 30 play, play pro. Um, yeah, I feel great. I don't think I'm getting any other better work than here. Yeah. So what, I, I haven't gotten a chance to talk to you. Obviously, you're making your debut now. We've talked outside of the, the ring and everything in the martial arts institutes. But I do want to ask, what was your journey into martial arts? What, what made you decide to get into the fighter life and get into the gym and pursue fighting? Well, uh, I mean, I've always loved fighting. Uh, I mean, shoot, we'd be little, you know, in the backyard fighting like, with all my friends and everything. Uh, I was always the littlest one, so I was always getting beat up on. Um, but... I mean, I've wrestled, I've played football, I've always I've come from an athletic background. I used to play sports three times a year, do track, basketball, wrestling, football, soccer, baseball, I've done it all, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think different sports and different things like that help, you know, transition in different ways, different, um, you know, just different mobility and how your body moves and, you know, different movements can work from different sports to different, you know, to other ones. Um, so between that and wrestling, I've always wanted to fight. Um, I didn't really, uh, I wrestled, wanted to come back after, you know, after high school and uh, kind of, you know, fell in with the wrong crowd, you know, started doing different things. Uh, but now I'm back, I got everything straight, um, I head on straight, I'm where I need to be. Yeah. Um, I was going to, I was actually going to ask that, um, just because knowing a few people outside of, you know, same, similar circles. What when you transition into martial arts, getting into the gym, and you know, essentially just cleaning up your lifestyle, was that attributed to three hundred two? That ultimate switch of pace and just the different form of a lifestyle that changed your ulterior motive as a man. Definitely, um, you are who you're, you surround yourself with. So you know, being in here with all these people, you know, it's definitely changed me a lot. You know what I mean? How long have you been here now? Uh, two years. Two years. Yeah. And what made you decide that you want to make your debut now? Um, I've just been waiting, you yeah. know, putting in work, um, you know, I'm only going to get better with time. Once you got the go-ahead from Steve, hey, we got an opponent, we're ready to go, tell me the feeling. Uh, I was excited. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm ready to go. Uh, I love the bang, you know, we can wrestle, we can jiu I you know, do jiu-jitsu, I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Know? I feel confident everywhere. I feel good, you know. Yeah, so, I mean, the pandemic, it's something that everybody's kind of needing to talk about just because everybody's handled it in a different sense. I mean, some people have, you know, I was just talking to Eric Chase. He's gotten after it just 10 times fold, tenfold harder. Other people, they've had to pick up, you know, a couple more hours at work. You know, everybody's been hit a little bit differently. How has it affected you in a positive aspect to get ready for this time, this debut? Um, with all that, it was good because, I mean, you know, I kind of got a lot of time to, you know, myself, uh, bag work, focusing on my striking, you know, uh, just repetition, you know. Uh, I mean, what's better doing, putting time on the bag, you know, when right. all he got his time. Yeah. So. So getting ready to make your debut now against Talha Khan. Obviously, he's 1-0. and oh. You're looking to make his O go. What do you know about him as an opponent? He has that one fight on YouTube. But other than that, outside of that, what do you know? Um, I don't really know much. He looks like uh, more of a jiu-jitsu guy. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't really think it matters, honestly, you know, uh, or whatever he brings. We could do whatever. So you're not in the slightest one bit, whether it goes standing on the ground. Where do you feel the most dangerous? Uh, honestly, uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, I wish there was ground to pound, so I kind of would like to come back to the Delaware rule set. Yeah. But, I mean, I like ground to pound. Yeah. But. So are you looking to stay active? What's your ulterior motive? Obviously, you can't just jump from debut to pro to UFC, but what are you looking to ultimately get out of a mixed martial arts, your career with this? Obviously, I want to get, uh, you know, the best I could be, you yeah. know. I mean, I don't want to, I think I could be with anybody. I mean, anybody that you put in front of me, there is, you know, they can, they can go down. Yeah. It doesn't matter, man's a man, a man bleeds, yeah. you know. 
bleach just as much as the next one. But Talha Khan, how do you beat him? What's your prediction if you'll be so bold? I'm gonna say knockout. Knockout? I like you know, I like to bang. I like to stand up. We'll see. Uh it doesn't matter. You think uh first round, second round, third? You wanna go ahead and babe Ruth your shot? Second. Second round second. knockout. Second round knockout. Buddy Tally's debut. He's calling it here. Talha Khan, he better get ready. Like we were talking about earlier with Eric and everybody else, I'm sure Talha's going to be able to see this video. If you had any final words for him, what do you got to say for your opponent? Good luck. That's it. Man, a few words and let's get it. I appreciate your time, buddy. Awesome. I appreciate everything you do. I'm looking forward to seeing the fight. Obviously, again, like I told you, my MMA News will be in the house covering it. For Buddy Tally, I'm Adam Christ. He will be taking on Talha Khan at Maverick 16, June 26. You don't want to miss my man's debut.